Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my 2016 go-to makeup look. This is the makeup that I wore all throughout 2016. I used the, all these products to death this year. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself a lot of the time from like previous videos, but these are the products that have really stood out to me during the year of 2016. The only thing I wanna give an honorable mention to is the Marc Jacobs foundation. I couldn't use this one today because I have fake tan on. So most of the year I used this foundation and I loved it. It is amazing and it's still definitely one of my favorites. I just need to get this in like a different color maybe so I can use it when I'm tan as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy the products that I think are like my favorites and thank you so much for watching. <laughs> As usual, I'm going to use my Napoleon Perlis Auto Palette Primer. It's summer now in Australia, so my skin is getting a little dry. I'm going to use um, the Touch of Dewy Skin Mist before my foundation. I find if I put this on after my foundation, it, it does make my skin look shiny. But if I put it on before, it looks really hydrated, so I'm going to do that. I have a little bit of fake tan on, so I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade number one. And what I do is put a little bit of that in my hand, one and a half pumps, sometimes one, because it is really full coverage. And I'm going to use the Cover Effects Custom Infusion Drops in C Plus Lemongrass. It's the Radiance kind. So basically, I just put a couple of drops in my hand as well and then the cover effects custom enhancer drops in celestial i believe it's called yeah celestial so these are the shiny ones and i put a couple of drops of that in i don't really notice that one as much it doesn't really make that much of a difference but i like to think it makes a difference and then I just take the back of a brush and I like mix them all together this just kind of thins out the foundation a little bit makes it less cakey looking and just wipe it all over my face. And as usual, using my beauty blender. This one's a bit dirty, I'm sorry. But you can already see how much like how much coverage that has. That's the thinnest amount. I find it looks much nicer when I put the drops in because then my skin doesn't look as cakey or as dry and you still get a really nice coverage from it. I don't think I addressed in my last videos, um, or in my last one video, I think that I have blonde hair now. So yeah, th that's a thing that's happened. I just felt like I needed a little bit of a change and I was kind of having a bit of an identity crisis. And so I thought I would go blonde again because I used to be blonde during high school. <laughs> and then I'm just building up that coverage on my cheeks and where I feel like I need it. But honestly, this has such good coverage. I almost want to try the lighter shade, the 0.5 because I got this one to be like my tan foundation even though I'm not even that tan <laughs> still like number one so I want to use all my favorite products from this year basically oh sorry this is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer I love this stuff it's super thick it's super full coverage it doesn't dry out my under eyes it just looks flawless all the time I have been trying out the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I do really like it but for some reason this one just always looks amazing so I just keep on using it because I love it so much so I've just applied it with my fingers obviously you can use your beauty blender as well and then to set that I've been using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder I like this one better than the translucent powder underneath my eyes and I just take another wet beauty blender and I really like pat this into my skin sometimes I kind of bake sometimes I kind of just do this where I'm like ugh, putting powder in my eye then for the rest of my face I'm using the RCMA no color powder this is such a good cheap powder it's not like the best powder I've ever used or anything like that but it just does the job so that's why I like it because it's so affordable and you can use so much of it and it's 
you don't feel like you're wasting it. I literally just have this like plate <laughs> that looks super sus always on my counter and I just pour it out onto this and dip my brush into this pretty much every day. And then I pretty much only set my cheeks where I'm gonna put other powders. All right, and this is an SL Miss Glam Expert Face P10 brush. And then I'll take that same beauty blender that I used underneath my eyes and take a little bit more of that powder and just pat it onto my smile lines, my little chin, that little crease just there, and just my little forehead dent area. I don't wanna do my full like brow, intense brow routine, so I'm just gonna use the Napoleon Pettis Wonder Brow in Blonde Ambition. This has been my kind of go-to brow product now that I have blonde hair because it actually lightens the natural color of my brows and makes them look more warm because I have very like ashy kind of brows. They're quite dark in comparison to the bleach blonde look. But this literally like colors your hair. So it makes me look like the difference that's all. But it makes me look like I actually have <laughs> blonde eyebrows as well. It is more of a natural look to the brow, definitely. But since this is my go-to quick kind of look for 2016. It's nice and easy. Then what I'm gonna do is use the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in number 10 because this is a little bit warmer than my Dip Brow in Taupe, which I used to always use when I had pink hair. So it's very, very slightly warmer. And I really like this for my brows at the moment. So I just go along that arch make it extra arched. Sometimes I'll do this before the Wonder Brow, just depending on what I feel like that day. And that's my basic brow at the moment. My go-to contour powder for this entire year was the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is just one of those colors that looks good no matter what my skin's like, like no matter if I have a tan or if I'm super, super pale, it just always looks really nice. And this is another SL Miss Glam brush. This is the White 02 powder brush. So I just do a little bit of general bronzing. Take it around my forehead, under the jaw. Now I couldn't choose between the palettes that I used the most this year because they all kind of came in at different times. So at the start of the year, I was using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette pretty much every day. This is such a great palette. It's so versatile. Then about halfway through the year, I got the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette, which also just became one of my staple items that I just pretty much used every day as like a base. And then at the end of the year, the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette came out and I started using this every day. So I can't really choose between the three which one was my complete favourite of the year. But what I like to do is kind of mix them all together. So what I do with the Beauty Killer palette, my go-to base colour for my lids is China White from the Jeffree Star palette. And I always set my eye with that colour now. Like I pretty much use that one colour every single day. Why are all my brushes dirty? So be clean. And then I take Courtney, which is this amazing transition color, and put that in my crease. I pretty much do this every single day. No matter what eye look I'm doing, I use China White and Courtney as like a base before I decide what I'm actually doing that day. Then my favorite color out of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette is Candy Peach, which is this one right here. I love this color so much. And what I'm gonna do is put that in my crease as well. Make it a little bit more warm, a little bit more intense, like camping. Guys, welcome to my beauty room, by the way. I don't think I've filmed a video here yet, so this is the first one. Welcome! This is a room that is now completely dedicated to all of my makeup and where I can like now edit and it's basically my own little office. I don't actually live in this house, I live in my main house but we have like a guest house and no one's been using it and it's taken me literally years to convince my parents to let me have this space but now I have it. I'm just not allowed to live in here which is it makes no sense, but this room now is mine to like 
do makeup in, which is so cool. I also love the color Summer Yum and Puree. I'm gonna use Summer Yum underneath my eyes. I might even film a room tour one day when I'm fully like happy with the space. I just don't really know how to decorate it. I'm actually really terrible at decorating because I'm a bit of a hoarder and I like to buy a lot of things. I like a lot of visual clutter. As you can see, I mean like I just like having things, but I don't really know how to make things look pretty. <laughs> so if there's any links to any videos you guys want me to watch so I can learn from people, that would be awesome. And then what I'm going to do is use the Huda. The Huda Beauty palette, this is an insane palette, like I probably could have done this exact look with just this palette, but that's kind of just the colours that I've been using heaps from those two palettes. The colour that I use the absolute most is Rose Gold, which is this foiled amazing eyeshadow up here. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of Inglot Duraline on my brush. This helps make the brush wet first of all. It helps the rose gold pigment to like stick to your eye and stay on and doesn't move around as much. This kind of goes on better with your fingers. So I like to do a little bit with the brush with that dura line on it first. Kind of just get that area ready and nice and moist. So if anyone hates that word. Then I use my pinky and just pat that on top. And you get this amazing like foiled kind of shiny eyeshadow oh it's so cool see basically like nothing comes off when you just use the brush that's why it works better when you use your fingers it's kind of like color pop shadows so now we have very very nice warm eyes now i'm gonna take a little bit of cocoa mixed with henna and just deepen up the outer corner of my eye one of my favorite highlights of 2016 was the becca moonstone highlighter I had the big size and I broke it, which was really, really upsetting. Um, so I have a little baby version now. And I'm going to put this on my brow bone because I want to show you guys all my favorite products basically from this whole year. And I'm going to put this in my inner corner as well. For eyeliner, this has been my favorite eyeliner of the entire year. This is actually a Sailor Moon eyeliner that I got off of eBay. Um, I've got four, I think, four different designs, so they all have these removable caps. But the actual eyeliner is so good. <laughs> it's basically a little brush pen, and it's really, really precise, and the formula is really great, and I just have loved it so much. I didn't, I literally bought it for the novelty, like, cap and everything, but the actual formula is great. And that is pretty much how I do my eyeliner every single day. I couldn't choose what my favorite mascara was because it's a little bit of a combination. I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I either use the waterproof version or the normal version. But I really like this Too First coat my lashes. I don't know why I started doing it in this order as well, like why I started doing this combination. I just can't be happy with one, clearly. But this is a really nice mascara. So I do my top lashes with that. And this gets really close to the root as well, which I like. Perfect. While well, that little spot dries. Then I take the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the waterproof one. I like the normal version as well. Um, I just really like the wand on this. It's just a, like a massive version of Benefits Roller Lash, kind of. Um, but I just started using this to kind of like comb through my lashes and make them look extra big and extra long. I don't know why I don't like it by itself, but I pretty much use it on top of every single mascara I own. And then I use it on my bottom lashes as well. I'm just gonna dust this one off. Get off my brow my favorite blush of 2016 was milani's luminoso this is one of those cult favorites like everyone raves about it for a reason it is just such a beautiful warm shade it's got that kind of reflection that makes your skin look really nice and healthy and it's just honestly gorgeous and it's really really pigmented so you can use a really tiny amount and it looks great as i mentioned before becca moonstone has been my favorite highlight 
combined with Becca Pearl. Becca Pearl is a completely like white tone and it's gorgeous. So especially if you have really pale skin like me, this is amazing. I pretty much use it every day. Um, so I'm going to do a combination of the two because I seem to do that a lot. So a little bit of Moonstone first on the cheekbones, on the cupid's bow, nose. I find Moonstone is one of those ones you can put everywhere. And then Pearl, I like to just put on my actual cheekbones and in the inner corner of my eye. My favourite lipsticks of the entire 2016 year have been the Kylie Cosmetics Coco K Liquid Lipstick and MAC Retro Matte in Lady Be Good. These are basically my go-to always look good nude-ish but warm. Like Coco K is more of a, it's more like pinky toned and then Lady Be Good is more of that kind of warm orange. This is Coco K and this is Lady Be Good. So either of them are basically my favourites for the entire year. I think I'm going to go with Coco K today just because I find myself using this one a lot. I use this one so much that I end up buying a second one. So that's when you know it's a really good colour and I don't use the lip liner that goes with it. Isn't it just so pretty? Oh, I'm, I just love it so much. My favourite setting spray of the year was the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. It's amazing. Everybody knows it. So that guys is basically my 2016 face. Um, it's the look that I always go to. It's the look that I've worn a million times this last year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 2016 makeup routine. I can't believe this whole year is almost over. I feel like I achieved quite a lot this year. Um, there were a few tough times, but there was also way, way, way more good times. And I really think I've improved as a person this whole year, which is really nice. Let me know if you loved any of these products as well. And thank you so much for a million views on my channel. That is like a massive milestone for me. And I couldn't be more grateful for all the like love and support that I get, even though I haven't posted a video in a really long time. I was trying to do a video every single week and then I kind of just fell off the bandwagon because my laptop is shit, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so now I'm able to make new videos because I've just gotten a brand new iMac for Christmas. So I really hope that improves the quality of my videos, it improves the editing and everything like that. Sorry for rambling. I hope you guys are all having a really great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.